What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. I got some boxing news for you guys today. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly to help the channel grow. All right, guys, tomorrow we got Francis Ngannou taking on Anthony Joshua. This fight's really snuck up on us, hasn't it? Like, I mean, I just feel like it's just not getting enough attention. And I'm kind of mad that, like, I, I, I thought the fight was Saturday. I didn't even realize it was tomorrow. Like, I don't know, like... I feel like this fight should have way more hype behind it. And I think Francis is going to surprise a lot of people. I could be wrong. Because now that Francis has fought Tyson, he's gone out there and fought Tyson, right? He had his debut. Now there's a rounds of tape on Francis, right? That Joshua has been able to study. And Joshua's now kind of had his tune-up fights since losing to Usyk twice. He's kind of getting himself back, his, himself back in that groove. As to where now you got Francis, who's probably feeling very confident over his fight with Tyson Fury. Where, yeah, it was a loss, but it was controversial. I I was watching it, like, on a phone. It was very glitchy. But, like, I, it was a close fight. You know, and he did fucking drop Tyson Fury. Like, that was crazy. He looked good. He looked damn good. I think he earned his ranking spot, even though he was 0-1. And, and even though he lost the fight, cool, whatever. But he won the people in that fight. Him going against Joshua, too. I think he earned this fight against Joshua. But people forget, too, when he came into the UFC and when he was going into that fight with Alistair Overeem, uh, like, I think it was UFC 217, like, somewhere around that time, people were talking about how he was this boxer first and then decided to go into MMA because it was his quickest path to championship to start him, right? So, I mean, his first love is always boxing. And that was always his danger point, too, in MMA. Yeah, he became a mixed martial artist. He was able to round out that wrestling. Because people forget, he got dominated by Stipe, that, that first title fight that he had. But then you go all the way to the future where he won that rematch with Stipe and then that fight that he had with Cyril Gaon, right? So Francis, he's a winner, man. He goes through resilience. He is able to find a path to victory. The guy works hard. Just to get where he is at in life in general just shows how hard this guy is like just willing to work and what he's willing to do to go out there and get the victory. Francis in this fight against Joshua. Joshua, man, Olympic medalist, former multiple-time champion, could very well be champion again, and could very well dust Francis Ngannou in this fight. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think Francis is going to go out there. I think he's going to put on a competitive performance. And I think if there's anyone who's going to get knocked out in this fight, it's going to be Joshua. If Joshua gets a victory, I think it's probably going to be a decision. I just think Francis, if, if he's able to keep his cardio and his composure, I think he can go out there and just damage Anthony Joshua. We've seen him get dropped before. We've seen him get finished before. Not in ways where Tyson Fury had been. Because I don't, you know, obviously Fury's undefeated, but I'm talking about like the times where he was dropped, you know, especially in his fights with uh, Deontay Wilder. So... I think it's compelling. I love the fight. I love that Joshua's taking a chance because he's the one with everything to lose here again in this fight. Francis has all also come out and said in this fight that he was guaranteed, I think, a rematch with Fury. I don't know how accurate that is because I'd like to see him just go back to the PFL. I'd like to see him back in MMA. But if he goes out there and dusts Joshua and puts on just a really phenomenal performance, or even like if he like goes out there and like puts on like an okay performance or just at least somewhat competitive but losing... You know, maybe you could see him starting back, you know, maybe the bottom 25 or, like, you know, like the top 25 guys work his way back up. Who knows what's going to happen with Ngannou. But in this fight, I think that he's going to give Joshua problems. I think that he has the ability to put this fight away in the first three, four rounds. But I'm curious. If you say you know, you really don't. I really don't know. I mean, that's just the God's honest truth here. But I, I do, in my heart, have a hunch that Ngannou is going to make this a really tough fight. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this super boxing match. I love this fight, man. I, it's not going to get enough attention, man. That's all fucking Jake Paul, Mike Tyson bullshit. It's overshadowing this Francis Ngannou and fucking Anthony Joshua fight. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans. <laughs>